This is Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz in Los Angeles today, joined by Mark Ridley Thomas, Chair of the Board of Supervisors in Los Angeles County, and my supervisor, I must say. That's Good right. to see you, my supervisor. Good to see you. Always. Always. I'd like to speak with you about a crisis we're facing. Yeah. We're facing it in our communities where we live, the entire county, and that's homelessness. You, a few months back, went on the homeless count. Right. I want you to kind of give us a sense of what you saw, what you heard, what you smelled, what you felt. What was that for you? Well, it was upsetting. Mm. Um, the homeless count uh, took place over a, a three-day period. Right. And uh, I began in the San Fernando Valley, mm. which according to the count statistics, uh, had an increase of 35% in homelessness from 2015 to 2016. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I have to go and see what's going on there. And it was very cold that evening. Uh, it was January. Very cold. And uh, people were sleeping on the sidewalk in the doors of bank buildings. Uh, and. They were afraid. Mm -hmm. They were seeking to protect themselves from the elements and more. And uh, I'm glad you brought up the San Fernando Valley right. because if we were talking 10 years ago no. and you did the homeless count, you no. would have gone to Skid Row. Right. But right. in our second district, you're the second, right? Right. I mean, there are homeless folks in Mar Vista. There right. are homeless folks in Windsor Village. I right. Mean, uh, right. Th they're everywhere. Right. And. They're in the valley. They're right. in the South Bay. In the mean, South Bay, 22 percent uptick right. in the South Bay, and so uh, it is the case now that Skid Row constitutes simply 10 percent of the homeless crisis, 90 percent throughout the county of Los Angeles, and so there is no denying this. It has to be uh, dealt with in a way that is substantive, that is innovative. Uh, that focuses on results. So let's talk about what the voters of the city of Los Angeles and the county of Los Angeles have decided to do. In November, right. the city of Los Angeles had an initiative on the ballot, right. HHH, Correct. to build homeless housing, mm -hmm. passed. Right. Recently, we had an election in mm -hmm. LA County, Correct. Uh, Measure H. Correct. That is a quarter cent increase in the sales tax. Right. Needed two thirds of the vote. Right. As we speak today, it looks like it's getting the two thirds. That is absolutely right. The voters of LA City and County have been very generous. And they made themselves clear. They've opened up their hearts and their wallet. Right. And this Twice. is extraordinary. It, sells, uh, it says a lot about the people of this region uh, in terms of their compassion, their sense of prudence, their purpose, and frankly, their wisdom uh, as it relates to knowing that if we don't do something about this, the quality of our collective experience and life uh, will diminish. What's also surprising, if I may say, about the recent vote right. on H is that this was an off, off, off year election this is right. with very low turnout. Right. And in those types of elections, you tend to have, and this is a generalization, more conservative voters no question. that may tend to be a bit skeptical That's of right. tax increases. That's and right. yet, in that election, right. we had 67% plus voting in that favor is That's of correct. Measure H. It's extraordinary. Nothing short of extraordinary. It evidences the intensity of people's concern, regardless of your political persuasion, right. your socioeconomic status, the intensity of the concern for the leadership of this county. And, and, All 88 cities to do something about this. And think this. about it. It needed two-thirds vote. It'd be one thing it was 50% plus one. It's a steep hill. But, you know, if you look at the map of where it did well, and right. it did well really everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the low parts were in the 60s. That's right. still mm -hmm. over 60% right. saying yes. Right. It's but, so what does that mean to you? I mean, I understand. Right. Uh, what does it say about Angelinos? It says that they see a problem and want something done about mm -hmm. it. And it also says they were willing to take the risk right. that government will do what it is supposed to do. 
and I believe we can and we must. So let's talk about the interplay between right. H, 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 and H. Right. So H, H, H gives us uh, housing. Correct. Construction. Right. H, the county is giving us money for services. So right. it's, a, it's a nice blend together. Right. Right. Um, this is very fresh, obviously, sir. Right. But talk us through what happens in the next three months, six months, a year with those two initiatives having passed. Well, with respect to measure H, it begins rather immediately. Okay. Uh, the funds for services, mental health services, rapid rehousing, job training, as well as substance abuse uh, um, counseling and services, and a range of infrastructure issues that are very critical, that happens rather immediately. That's the good mm -hmm. news. And these services go to support what happens in the permanent supportive housing that would be built by the city of Los Angeles. How quickly does that happen? I know it takes time, but how quickly? Well, uh, they've already identified 12 um, parcels that are city owned uh, in order to do that. Now, it will take anywhere from uh, 24 months to okay. uh, a few more months than that uh, to get this new housing built. Let me ask you though, you had been on the LA City Council and so you remember the days when the city and the county as it relates to homelessness often pointed fingers at each other. Correct. I feel like those days are behind they us, are. but are we going to see cooperation between these two entities with regard to H and Triple H? Um, yes, you will. The mm -hmm. city and the county issued their own homeless plans I, I remember in that. February of 2016 on the same day by design. Mm -hmm. They are complementary, and the fact of the matter is, pursuant to the adoption of Measure H, the homeless initiative in the county of Los Angeles, there will be a memorandum of understanding that essentially says these are the things that we will do together. That housing doesn't work without the services. You were in the Assembly and Senate as well in Correct. Sacramento. Correct. And back in July of last year, there was a rejiggering of Prop 63 funds Correct. for permanent housing. So now we have kind of a third element coming yep. in. Uh, what is the city and county doing to make sure that L.A. County, L.A. City, leverages those dollars as well? Well, it then is state, uh -huh. uh, $2 billion right, right. Uh, dollar bond, mm. the city, $1.2 billion bond, and then the county with uh, essentially uh, $355 million annually right. for 10 years. It sunsets in right, 10 years, right, right. so it's uh, close to $4 billion. Uh, what will happen is we will layer the city and the county uh, resources with the housing and the services, and we will also cause that to happen with those state uh, resources to build permanent supportive housing. They are very specific. They can't do anything else with that money mm. other than build uh, permanent supportive housing. But you housing. now have the money for the supportive part. For the, <laughs> right. right. And it right. doesn't work without what we right. do. It is critical, but it is phenomenal that we have this opportunity. You know, and I, we can make a difference. Right. I've known you for a long time, and I can sense a, a true spirit of right. excitement surrounding right. this. You're, 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 you're right. a very reserved man, but right. this, is, this is a new day. It's a I new mean, day. I mean, there really is... I think I'm hearing it from you, yeah. we're going to see progress. You have to see progress. Right. Um, the voters have confidence in us, and we must perform, and I believe we can. Okay. This is the time. Okay. His name is Mark Ridley Thomas, Chair of the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. I'm Brad Palmer, and thanks for joining us on Local Edition.